Hey everyone, uh, Peter here. I'm the product advocacy lead for ArcGIS Online. And I just wanted to uh, take a second today to demo a workflow on um, how to preserve uh, uh, relationships for uh, related records when appending um, one feature service or file geodatabase to another uh, when that relationship is based on uh, global ID and GUID fields. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, here I have uh, two feature classes that were created from surveys. I have survey A and survey B, as well as uh, related tables for each survey. So in uh, survey A here, see we have the global ID, and then in the related table, we have the parent global ID, which connects the related records to the parent features. So um, the first step in this workflow is to uh, go ahead and add a new uh, GUID field to um, survey A. So we'll go ahead and call this a preserved global ID. And we'll make this a GUID field. And we can go ahead and save. And now we need to preserve the uh, original global ID in that new GUID field. So we'll go ahead and click here and choose to calculate the field, and we'll calculate it from the global ID. So now we have, we have in that um, a preserved global ID field. Uh, the original global ID from uh, the survey a feature class. Um, so now let's go ahead and go into survey B and we're going to also add um, an identical field. Um, but this time we are not going to calculate it. Um, we're going to leave it blank. Go ahead and save that. So the reason we're leaving it blank is that we're going to append survey A to survey B. And uh, during that time, we want the schema to match up. It just makes the uh, append a little bit more straightforward. Um, so now that we've added that, let's go back to um, our tables here. And we have um, survey A and survey B. So let's go ahead and um, open up append. And for our input data set, we're going to um, go ahead and choose survey A. And our target data set, we'll choose survey B. And we can leave the schema type as input schema must match target schema since our fields are at this point identical. Let's go ahead and run. So if we look at the result uh, in the survey B attribute table, we can see that in the preserved global ID field, we have those original global IDs from survey A. Um, now, if we go up and look at survey A's related table, we are going to add another GUID field, um, but this is going to be to store the new global ID that was created for the appended features from survey A in survey B. Um, so we'll go ahead and add a field, and we'll call this one survey B global A. And again, this is going to be a good field. So we can save that. And now what we can do is join um, survey B into the survey A related table using the um, original global ID uh, that's been added here because that we know that's in the survey a related table as the parent global ID. So we'll go ahead and go joins and relates, add join. The input join field is going to be the uh, parent global ID. And let's grab survey B right here. And it, it auto populates. So we can go ahead and add that join. And then if we look at the related table, we'll see that we've added all of those features and we have the preserved global ID here. Um, from here, the next part is to calculate the field into the empty 
uh, GUID field. So we want to take the preserved, uh, we want to take the new global ID, excuse me, and calculate it into the survey B uh, global A GUID field. So let's take this, calculate field, um, and let's get global ID. So survey B global ID, that's what we want. We can go ahead and run that. So now we can see that um, in survey A related table, this global ID right here matches the global ID of the newly appended features in survey B. And from now, we can actually go ahead and um, remove that join since we've gotten what we need. So let's go in here and we can remove the join. And the last part is to um, recalculate the parent global ID. So we're gonna, um, we want to replace the survey A global ID with the survey B global ID, which is now in this field. So let's go ahead and calculate that. And that's gonna be calculated from survey B global. So now the parent global ID is updated. This means that when we append survey A related table into the survey B related table, those parent global IDs will match the uh, features global IDs in uh, the parent features. So uh, the final step here, we're gonna go ahead and open up append again. And our input data set is going to be survey A related table. The target will be survey B related table. And before we do this, we're actually going to go ahead and delete this field. And now the schema matches again, and we'll go ahead and hit run. And if we open up the survey B related table, we'll see that all those features have been added in. We have those updated parent global IDs. And as a test, we can open up our map and uncheck survey A. So we're just looking at survey B. And if we click on one of those features that is um, survey A, so we have survey A right here. We can look at the related table and we can see that um, those features have been uh, correctly mapped to uh, the, the parent features in the new uh, feature class. So I hope that helps with uh, appending feature classes or feature services that um, contain related tables. Um, I know it went a little bit quickly, but uh, that should provide a nice template for uh, getting started with this sort of workflow. Um, thanks for watching and comment below if there are any questions.